If you open an old book and you start reading fairy tales, you'll probably notice a trend. The tales of princesses, the forest, and the forest trolls all have a place, as do the mushrooms. Now make no mistake, the fungi are great for the forest and great for the forest health, but our perception of them is based on our culture. Depending where you're from, this here may be how mushrooms are portrayed. What could that be? That's a scrumptious one. What do you think he's doing? And how often is it that you stop and ponder that? Hey, sweetie pumpkin. What do you suppose the mushrooms are always associated with eerie environments and poisonous potions? I mean, what's the deal with that? Why do they get such a bad rep? I think we're going to have to explore a little bit more about mushrooms. It's important to remember as we discuss mushrooms that the mushroom itself is just the fruiting body of the fungi, and not all fungi have fruiting bodies. There are several broad categories that define this kingdom. The major types of fungi are usually divided up by their reproductive structures. And if we look at those different types, we'd find four major groups. The first are the Basidiomycota, the club fungi. They're what most people think of when they think mushrooms. Then we have the Ascomycota, or the sac fungi. They include the morals and truffles. On bread, you'll often find bread molds like the Zygomycota. Then in moist soil or occasionally parasitizing frogs, you'll find the Chytridomycota. So there's several types, but what you'll see in a forest on a stroll are usually the club fungi and sac fungi. The rest are just very small. Just remember, most of what you're seeing are the fruiting bodies, only a small piece of the fungi. Take that away, and the fungi still remain. The major part of the fungus is actually in the form of the mycelium, which lives in this log. See, mycelium are little fibers that strewn through all throughout this wood and break it down. As it breaks down the wood, it breaks down nutrients and it gets recycled back into the forest. What's left over, that's food for the fungus. When conditions are right, the mycelium form together, they make a diploid fruiting body, which is basically what we got here, the mushroom. So now we're in the mountains of North Idaho and we're gonna look for mushrooms. Hey, wait up you guys. I wanna see what mushrooms you guys got. How many kinds of mushrooms are here in this forest here? Uh, 5,003. What? Really? About 5,000. Oh my gosh. That's the rough figure we give, and uh, not, not at any one time, but their right. mycelium is all through the soil all the time. Why do you think there's so many people out there that don't like mushrooms? Because they don't know anything about it. Well, because they're not warm and fuzzy for one. Without mushrooms, you wouldn't have a forest. I just think they're neat. They're pretty, and they're all over. And, and they're all very beautiful. And it's fun. I'm still learning which ones are the good ones and which ones are the bad ones. But even seeing a bad one is fun. You know, kind of, it's like tuning your instinct on a hunting dog. We look for mushrooms all day long, even when the rain came. I'm officially soaked. Wow, those are cool. Oh, look at how beautiful these are. Hey, so, chicken pot pie. I don't have pie. a lot of lion's mane. And I'm going to cook mane. it up tonight. These are supposed to be wonderful, but I don't know what, why. They say it smells a little bit like apricot. Kind of. I think it smells like dirt. Ooh. These are uh, edible honey. They're very good. It's beautiful. Fine, Fry them and put sugar on it. They're so yummy. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What do we say? Say Matsutake. 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 Now there's lots of things you can do to learn more about mushrooms. Here's some suggestions. You can join a community mushroom club. That way you have all the resources at your fingertips for local mushrooms. You know, it can take years to be a professional mushroom identifier. So it's really important that you can't just go through the forest and just pick up any mushroom and start eating it because you could really get sick or you could even kill yourself. So for right now, just stick with the mushrooms that are found in the store. And as always, from the mountaintops to the mushroom forest, we encourage you to never stop exploring your world. Never stop exploring your world! Woo! Thanks for joining us as I try to get a bunch of stuff we shot a long time ago out before we start really pushing the new stuff. A couple of things to note, I'm going to push this for a year, as hard as I can, but I can't do it without you letting me know what you're interested in. Leave a comment below. Also, maybe you'd like to vote in another way for this eco content. All of this is made sustainable by people watching just like you who are contributing on our Patreon site. All right, we'll see you next year.